On the Georgia College campus, the parking situation is frustrating for students and teachers alike. Uh, every morning, I'm looking around for a place to park and I can't find one and it's really ridiculous, honestly. Um, I've been here for four and a half years pretty much and uh, I, it's always been a problem. It'll continue to be a problem. People are doing nothing about it. I just can't stand it, honestly. Parking is awful. Um, I hate it. I usually walk to class because parking sucks and they need to do something about it. Preferably take away the teacher spot. Sorry guys, but we need more parking spaces. The Georgia College Auxiliary Services actually did do something about parking this year, implementing the first new parking plan since 2006. The bottom line is more closing spots for employees and fewer spaces for students, but more student parking farther out. The heart of campus was um, devoted primarily to employees. The overall number of parking spaces has not decreased. In fact, it's increased over the last several years. But what's happened is we've had to get creative in acquiring more land, and some of that has been pushed out further to the perimeter. Than Here are the changes that are now in effect. The Adams and Kilpatrick lots had been converted to employee-only lots. Students are no longer allowed to park there. Cooler says students who previously used those lots can park in Centennial. They are also adding an additional parking lot behind the depot that will provide 170 additional resident spaces. Collar says students who previously used the Kilpatrick lot can now park in the newly designed all-commuter West Thomas Street lot. The old courthouse and Mayfair lots have been converted to guest parking only. Ten spaces in the Peeler lot have been converted from employee parking to commuter for students. Callers suggested that students use the West Thomas Street parking lot and then take the bus to campus. If you just go there first, park, hop on a shuttle, you can be here a lot faster than trying to circle campus and find something closer. Parking and Transportation says they try to be as fair as possible, but faculty parking is their priority, which is one thing that students do not like about the new parking plan. Um, I think that the commuter parking or the parking for students is too far away from main campus. If you're running late for class or something and you're like sprinting from all the way over there and coming here is really difficult. Many students have suggested building a parking garage as an ultimate solution. The bottom line is it's just not financially feasible. Another issue is the conversion of some street spaces to two-hour parking. We were noticing that there was also more two-hour parking which is kind of annoying because I'm in classes for longer than two hours. John Bowen, the senior manager for parking and transportation, says parking is always a work in progress. Awesome. Yeah, it's not a perfect plan. Yeah, sure. we're gonna, I'm sure we're going to be tweaking it over time to right. you know, make, it, make it even better. You can see the updated parking plan along with the maps at www.gcsu.edu parking. This is Isabella Echeverria, GC360.